back. I got some new hardware. Ah, 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 ah. All right. So with this brand new first person view technology, you will be able to you will be able to you you will be able to see me. Um, while I trek on my journey. So today we're gonna be talking about water and how to find it. Now this area is a very dangerous area. You never know what you'll really find. There's all kinds of different life forms, such as a stick. You can hear the cicadas in the trees. You can hear the squeaks in my knees. And look what we found. Wow, isn't that great? So let's continue on our trek. All right, so we have to cross this here stream. Things like this can be quite dangerous and finicky. So what you gotta do is you gotta find the rock that has the best chance of holding your weight. This one here seems like it'll do. So basically, what you're gonna have to do is just kind of go across as quickly as possible. Oh, oh, and we made it. So now that we're on the other side, we have to continue through this uncharted territory and jungle. Oh, this sure is dangerous. Some of these rocks just aren't sturdy enough for my weight. Well, we made it. And now we're in a totally different um, ecosystem. I like to call this one the, the Rocklands. All right, we have to continue our trek through these Rocklands. Sometimes you're gonna find something like this, these roots, they're pretty big. And you might think that you can handle the step on them, right? But you just, sometimes you can, but not always. Something like this, I wouldn't recommend stepping on it. That's just too much, all right? So always take the path of least resistance. That's what my father told me, and that's what his father told him, and his father before him. So now we are slowly leaving that last ecosystem. This right here can provide many sources of food. I like to call this peat. And peat will feed you through the nights. Just gotta eat it. This right here is an absolutely beautiful rock face. Great for climbing and jumping off of. You can see all the little plants growing at the bottom as it provides wonderful shade and a nice cool area for plants to prosper. Now I know what you're saying. Ty, doesn't this water look like my uncle's dip water? His dip spit? Well, yes, that's exactly what it is. Because ever since the 1980s uh, or 90s during the assault weapons ban of Bill Clinton, uh, dip became illegal to spit in cups. So all the people who dip in the South had to come here to dip. That was nice. Yeah. This is a prime example of how pollution can destroy ecosystems for years on end. Absolutely horrifying. This is awful for all the ecosystems. All right, as we continue our journey through these wilds, sometimes you come across something that you have to clear through like that branch. This right here, on the other hand, is a great example of what not to touch. All of these spines here, they could hurt you really bad. Pretty neat, huh? We've come across an obstacle here. It's a, a moist dip in the landscape. A simple hop, skip, and a jump over, and we're on the other side. My tummy's rumbling. I sure am growing up a mighty hunger. Something that you can do in harsh environments such as this is scavenge for your own food. You can hunt or you can gather. Personally, I'm more of a gatherer guy because I'm an animal man. I love the, uh, the creatures. Hold on. What's that? They say that you can only find these when they're in season during the one month of July in the one year. And that year happens to be this year when they're nice and ripe. 
So if we balance this correctly. Whoa, that was a close one. Ow! Please don't. Ugh. Time to eat some of these delicious snacks. Consult the locals. You! Where am I? You're the big apple now, brother. Good luck. <laughs> We're far from home. We gotta wait till the man inside the pole tells us we can go. They got giant boxes of food lying around. Inside, shall we? It's time to get down to the bottom of why I'm here and who brought me. You know, I'm beginning to do what I do best. That is, adapting to my surroundings. You know, actually, I'm beginning to like it here. Actually, if you think about it, this place is similar to nature in more ways than one. You know, adapting here has been one of the hardest things I've ever had to overcome in my entire life. But, you know, I'm glad I did it. That's exactly what I wanted this entire time, brother. What? What's all this mean? I was the one who left those almonds there for you to eat. And I thought you were here. No! You're lying to me! Everything I say is the truth, brother. I'm your city counterpart. No! I'll take you back in one condition, brother. We discuss our heritage over dinner. Wow, 